will introduce you to the basic concepts on the 3ds max material editor for defining colors textures and lifelike qualities in objects let's get started and open the created materials max file See, there is a simple scene with only a wall in our scene. The purpose is to create a rock wall. But as you can see, looking at the model, it is still being designed, as all the details are not yet modeled. So now to continue, let's apply a material copied from an image. Let's create a material to apply to this wall. Access the Rendered Material Editor menu. The Material Editor screen will be displayed. As you see, the Material Editor is divided into two parts. The upper part shows the object sample divided into nine slots and the respective toolbar. The lower part provides you all the settings for creating the material. Type wall material here in the name field. This way, this material will be different from the others. Now let's select the material type. Click Standard. Then the Material Map Browser screen will display all available options. There are more options than the standard material option in Max, such as specific materials for design, architectures, and others, and this way, you define the model properties added to the design. So, let's apply the standard material option and click OK. So, now the standard material is attributed. Down here, you can see the parameters responsible for the standard type material properties. In Blin Basic Parameters, access the color control in the Diffuse field. Then the Material Map Browser will be displayed. You see several types of maps in the Material Map Browser. Access the Material Map Browser in the Course File folder. So click diffusewall.jpg in the Materials folder and then OK. The material will be displayed as a sample. The bitmap configurations will be displayed in the Material Editor and no changes are necessary. After that, Click Go to Parent to return to the Blin Basic Parameters. We have already defined the minimum requirements for a material. And let's adjust the way light is displayed in this object. Change the glossiness intensity by typing 30 in the specular level. Type 27 in the percentage field in the glossiness area. And for softening, type 0 0.1 in the soften option. Now the configurations are more coherent to the way we wish to display them. See, it's ready. The material is now configured the way we wanted it. Let's see how the material looks applied to the wall. 
Click Assign Material Selection to apply the material. Then, to view it in the scene, just click Show Standard Map in Viewport. See how the brick image has been applied to the object in the scene. It is important to tell you about changing sizes and add other properties, such as bumpiness, embossing, by adding and changing several parameters. But let's leave these for more advanced courses. You have studied about configuring a diffuse map in a material and applying it to an object. There are a great number of possibilities for creating materials. You just have to understand how each parameter works and how they relate to the real world. Then in other courses you will learn how to configure several options based on the specific needs of each design.